Well, Ty, five years ago Monday, a massive Ponzi scheme shocked the world, and we're not talking about Bernie Madoff. Alan Stanford, a globe-trotting multi-billionaire from Texas, was accused of bilking investors out of $7 billion. His scam gets overshadowed, though, by Mr. Madoff's, which broke a couple months before. But five years later, Stanford's victim has fared considerably worse. Scott Cohn has the story. Hello, I'm Alan Stanford. Alan Stanford exuded the American dream, a self-made billionaire from rural Texas who became a royal knight in the Caribbean nation of Antigua and an international booster of cricket. The mastermind and funder of the whole project, Sir Alan Stanford. Investors, many of them retired oil workers, ate it up. 28,000 people, 10 times the number of investors in Madoff, bought certificates of deposit from Stanford's Antiguan Bank, assured by his U.S. sales force that the CDs were every bit as safe as those in the U.S. Angela Shaw Kogut and her family lost millions, like other victims she feels abandoned by the government. I do have to say the Stanford victims do feel like the stepchildren in the Ponzi world. In sharp contrast to Madoff, Stanford's investors have recovered next to nothing. Many still believe Stanford got a pass for years, thanks to connections never proven that he alluded to in a 2009 interview. Were you helpful to the authorities in the U.S.? You're talking about the CIA? Well, you tell me. I'm not going to talk about that. Even the federal judge overseeing the Stanford case wondered aloud in court last month why the Justice Department went after Bernie Madoff's main bank, but not so far after the five banks implicated in the Stanford case. No comment from the department. For his part, Alan Stanford still insists he's innocent. From a federal prison in Florida, he's appealing his conviction and 110-year sentence. But with all his assets frozen and having fired the last of more than a dozen attorneys, he's representing himself. Filing legal briefs from prison in longhand. I or any American citizen deserve better than this, he writes. The presumed innocent part of our Constitution is only a myth in America today. His victims are unimpressed. Of course, we're happy Alan Stanford is behind bars, but there are so many other injustices in this case. Ralph Janvey, the attorney appointed by the court to recover funds for the victims, says in a letter marking the anniversary he will continue working tirelessly. But the process is difficult, lengthy and expensive and a race against time. Since the scandal broke in 2009, 176 of Alan Stanford's investors have died. Scott Cohn, Nightly Business Report.